Here is one spiritual biggie, at least for me in my book. I pray it is for you, and I pray daily it is for me. It's in Matthew 28, verse 20. It says, Lo, I am with you always. Not just sometimes, not when you're in a time of great emergency. You'd be surprised how many people tell me that they don't want to pray. They don't want to use up their prayers. They only want to pray when there's some great emergency because they believe that they're limited in the good that they can have. The Bible doesn't say that. It says, I am with you always, at all times, under all circumstances. God's spirit is within you and goes with you wherever you go. What a wonderful thing that is to know. But more than just knowing it on a surface level, you have to have that as part of your spiritual DNA, where you know that no matter what you face, You are not alone. As you accept the truth of that statement, you know that as you go about your activities, you can go about your activities with great confidence. Many of you know that I'm receiving chemo right now. Well, listen, people say, how can you laugh at this? How can you not laugh at this? Life is to be enjoyed, every second of it. And any second that life is not enjoyed, you're missing life. And no matter what you face, enjoy it because because you're not alone. Uh, I got a, a couple weeks ago, I had two strands of hair left on the top of my head. And uh, they were curly. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, you look exactly like a Cupid doll. And then I decided that was too much, and I cut those strands of hair. Now I look exactly, exactly like a bowling ball. I mean, there's a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. You put your hand in and roll me down the alley. Now, I'm a positive thinker. I guarantee you I would get you a strike. But... Anyway, it is something that I know I don't face alone. And when that's part of your spiritual DNA, you've got real power. You are only stripped of that power when you believe totally that you're facing a situation alone. When you realize with confidence the awareness of God's presence with you, you know that you're never, 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 never alone. That you are being guided, but you're also being protected by God. God is with you in your home. God is with you in your business. God's with you on a crowded street, in a strange place, or even a busy freeway. Realizing that God is always with you, you know that also great possibilities are always with you, in store for you. And you will go through life with a poise and a determination needed to go with you wherever you want to go. When you're meeting new people, when you're trying to accomplish a new goal, you practice the presence of God. What does that mean? That means that no matter where you are, what you're facing, you practice knowing that you're not alone. You practice knowing that the Spirit of God is with you. And you acknowledge in every part of your being the presence of God. And you know that God's presence is with you and you are empowered in that knowledge. Perhaps the greatest knowledge that we can give to a human mind. It is literally the the IQ that will make the difference in your life. 
beyond failure to great success. I am living testament of this. I've had the greatest life that anybody could ever have. And it is because, not because of Chris, but because of God. And I know that <clears throat> as you yourself face any challenge, that the presence of God will be with you too. That you will be able to radiate a strength. You'll be able to radiate a poise. You'll be able to radiate a confidence as you acknowledge God's presence with you wherever you go. And you will acknowledge this first and foremost to yourself, and then it will automatically radiate through you. I pray today that you practice the presence of God. I pray that you realize that this is part of you, and it will always be. In Jesus' name, amen.